Hello again, welcome to Painter's Block. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I'm here to uh, bring you another episode of uh, Painting Our Armored Mega Gargant Kit Bash, and we're just going to kind of go over his OSL and a little 2.0 on how to build up his contrast. Now looking at the model from last time, we have a um, very over painted, I'm trying to avoid that and it doesn't quite give off that glow, so we're going to try to put some metal, some gun metal back over on the, um, the barrel and all these areas that the light wouldn't quite reflect, but with all that blue as our undertone, uh, a lot of it will show off some of that blue underlying tone, which will be really nice. and. Uh, just like we did before on the helmet, it uh, leaves a really nice uh, shadow effect to most metals anyway, so this actually works out pretty well. So basically what we ended up doing is building our brightness and our glow, and then we're going in and building in the contrast to um, more affect our glow and give it more of an um, its appearance that we're trying to give it. So um, with brush, I feel like that was the way I wanted to go in order to uh, make it easier on myself because building up the brightness after building up all of the metal tones it tended to just overlap my metal tones and then I had to go back. So building up the brightness and then going into the metal to build in the contrast actually worked out a lot better for me at least, but um, it, it's all up to preference. And uh, you know, it's always fun just to figure out a new way to do something that uh, you didn't know how to do before and that's one way to beat that painter's block. I know for me myself I had a lot of painter's block recently because of this OSL and uh, now I had the orange right at that point and it's really cool because once I put that uh, the gunmetal over the blue areas and that orange area that we had reflecting it actually still showed and it made it look a little bit more realistic which was really nice. Now. Now I do want to apologize, I have been absent a couple of days just because I had family pop in, it was a big surprise and I just didn't have time, but um, thank you so much for being around and please if you like what we're doing, please leave a like, follow us here on YouTube and Instagram and uh, maybe hit that notification bell, I will be posting more often now again, my family's back out and uh, they didn't surprise, they surprised me so I didn't really have much I could do about that, but thank you so much for sticking around. So this next step we're going to grab our greedy gold. I'm gonna really thin it out and um, I have some um, tutorials on how I thin out paint and it goes over my wet palette so if you need to look at that I'll put in the link in the description below so you can check it out but here we're just going to lightly go over all of this um, uh, pre-colored uh, gold on the um, crown. We have a lot of gold, we have a lot of blue, we have a lot of orange so we're just going over and giving it that uh, aesthetic that has this underlying shade because it's glowing from all of this blue glow atmosphere that we've built from the gun and it really looks nice because it um it neutralizes the gold on the one side where the blue is because gold is a warmer color and then when we have the orange on the other side it makes it look richer and it really adds to that contrast that we're building onto his helmet because I'm trying to give him a really split look on his helmet and up towards the top of his body to give him more of a fun effect and it's already looking like it's really coming together and I'm enjoying this a lot. So uh, we're just going to keep on going in when, on this and uh, grabbing a little bit of a brighter blue, a Baharoth blue from Citadel. I don't know if I said that right, I probably butchered that. But we're just going to be putting this in all our areas where we want it to glow the brightest. Basically our, all our light sources or whatever is closest to our light source that we want to reflect the most to give off a very shiny glowing feel. Because we've already built such a nice base with all these blues these underlying tones to all of our uh, metals and golds that this is going to really boost that brightness and it's exactly what we need. Now I'm grabbing this dry brush just for the barrel. I'm not doing it for any of the other parts because I just wanted to make the barrel look a little bit extra blown out and I tend to think when you dry brush it it look, makes it look a little bit blown out. But I didn't do that to everywhere, I'm just doing that to that barrel. And otherwise I'm pinpointing where I want this, uh, the Baharoth glow, or blue. And I'm going to put this where I want to build up that brightness, where we've already built in some of that pre-shade. And uh, we're just adding in more and more to this blue to just make it look a little brighter and brighter. Adding more detail to our glow effects with our brush rather than just over spraying with an airbrush. And this is just one way to go about it and uh, use a brush to add OSL to your model. Um, tell me how you like it below. I know that airbrush is a little bit more, uh, is a little bit fun and 
it um, has a uh, fun particle effect and it's a lot faster but I did see a lot of people who have a lot of good results with brush and uh, I want to see what you think about this and what do you think I should change um, I really liked all of your opinions um, and I just wanted to give a special shout out to uh, HP DeskJet 3720 and Mike La Lathrop. Um, thank you so much for your input and comments in the last video. I hope that I put it into this video uh, a little bit more so what you were uh, mentioning to me and it really helped me out and I really like how this turned out. I definitely enjoy this a lot better than the previous video and I just wanted to give you a shout out and give you all my love for this Christmas season. You really helped me out and everyone else uh, that has helped me out through this whole time also thank you so much i know that a lot of people helped me out and if i did not mention you i do apologize you can put it down in the comments below on this video and i will make sure to mention you in the next video but um thank you happy holidays and honestly you guys rock now i'm just grabbing that braharath blue and i'm just adding it to all these blue areas wherever i want it to glow the most and it's just adding a little bit more of this brightness to where we already have um, to just add more contrast because contrast is going to sell our glow and contrast to a mini painter is your best friend contrast makes your model look more realistic so you want to push contrast and with that being said flash get yellow is a great yellow uh, layer from citadel i hate their pots but this is a nice bright yellow and I use this on the orange areas because I wanted to build up that brightness and in order to build up the brightness in orange we need to go into the yellow spectrum. Now I don't know why I couldn't think of that in the other videos, I've done this before, but um, with that painter's block sometimes it hits you and you forget little things that you've known before and uh, you just need a little take a little bit of time to back away look at it reassess the situation look at some amazing artists i found some on instagram i put them down below uh kit bashed oddities is a big um, big a uh, friend of mine that I'm, uh, I love hanging out with and we're talking to him on Instagram. Uh, I haven't hung out with him in person, but he is a great guy. I definitely and um, say follow him on Instagram. He showed me um, his armored Mega Gargan that he first started in kit bashing and it's awesome. He does amazing work. He also sells some of his models, so if you ever want to look at it, go ahead. But anyways, I am just building up that uh, flash kit yellow to uh, just build up this brightness in this orange area to give off more of our glow effect into these areas and I'm going to build it even more so but with what we've already got you can already kind of see that it's building up brightness on its own and put we put some of that yellow on the light on his forehead and now it's really showing a split lit look and I'm really enjoying this a lot more than it was before yeah this is really great I'm loving this a lot Thanks guys a lot, thank you so much. This is amazing. I'm definitely going to carry this on to the rest of the model. And uh, we just added some more yellow to like the rims of some of these lit areas, just to make it look like that sun is getting a little bit more of that yellow glow. So we're going to finish off this model just by getting this Sigvald burgundy, whatever burgundy you want. I use this one as my contrast that lays really well and really like, evenly, especially since we're using a blue base. And I'm just going back over the shielding on my on, on the gun or the laser because it just got a little bit overblown and I want to make those um, those indents where the uh, where it could shine a little bit more glowy. And uh, just to finish off a look on this model, kind of um, add to our color wheel and normally you'd make blue pop with orange. I didn't really want to go with that too much because we already have an orange light. So I'm going to actually go in more with the blending side which would be going shifting over to just um, one, one over to the purple side. Uh, when you have your primaries, you got your wheel in like a red, blue, and a yellow. And generally, you're just going in a wheel around to the next level. So if you, I was on blue, and I just want to shift over to the red side, I'm going into like the purple burgundy area. Now here we're just finishing that up, and um, we're almost here. You're just being very careful not to touch the gold areas. That would be a little harder to cover up. Um, and... Um, just be very careful. Now this whole time I've only used the number three brush from my set. I haven't actually used any other brushes. I really enjoyed this brush. And uh, it comes from my um, my set that I'll put uh, in the link below. Now just letting you know, anything you buy off of these links I put down below really helps. And if you really want to help me out or just um, help out these videos and learn new stuff with me, that that is one way that really helps me. And um, if you want to give me a little bit of holiday love, 
those links below, um, they, they help me out, and they don't cost you anything extra. So um, thank you again, guys, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I'm going to be posting more often. I got more time. So um, I hope you enjoyed what we have today. I'm going to finish up the Gargant. It's Christmas. I got time. And once again, thank you for joining us, and I really hope we helped you break your painter's block. I know you helped me break mine.